Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Archon Type B Gen 2. This pistol is designed differently with innovations that should give it the edge over the competition. Stick around to see if these unique features truly make a difference. Before we get started, there's a lot of changes coming to firearm content on YouTube. So make sure to follow me over on Rumble in case any of my videos or the channel gets removed from YouTube. Link is in the description. Let's start with the specs and features of the Archon Type B Gen 2. The length of the Type B is 7.7 .7 inches. The width is 1.1 inch. The height is 5.2 inches. It's a striker fired pistol chambered in a nine millimeter. The barrel size is 4.3 inches with a one in 10 twist and has a nitrate finish. The slide is cut for an RMR footprint, which means there's no mounting plates needed. Serrated rear and front fiber optic iron sights. It has a mod Modular polymer grip with Talon rubber textured grips, built in flared magwell, and it comes with two magazines, one 16 round and one 18 round. So, the standout feature for the Type B is its AF speed lock technology. So, unlike the Browning system found in most pistols where the barrel tilts during the slide cycle, the Type B's barrel moves straight back a few millimeters without tilting. This design is meant to reduce muzzle flip, improve accuracy, leading to faster follow up shots. Also, the Type B has a very low bore access, about 25% lower than a Glock, which also minimizes muzzle flip, enhances recoil management, and makes the gun easier to control. The grip is modular, allowing you to switch from compact to full size, and the serialized chassis is sort of like the SIG P320 or the Springfield Echelon. It's the only part that's registered as the firearm. This makes customization very easy. Now let's talk about performance. The AF speed lock plus the low bore access really shine here. The recoil feels more like it pushes back on you versus a flip, which keeps the red dot in the optics window more consistently, allowing for faster follow-up shots. I put close to 2,000 rounds through this pistol and I've noticed improved accuracy at faster times in my course of fire classes. The pistol performed flawlessly even with cheap, low quality ammo. As a side note, if you're looking for a outside the waistband holster for your Type B, I highly recommend taking a look at the Filster Floodlight. This is what I've been using for all my course of fire classes and it's been working great. The open end here makes it compatible with the vantage point compensator or a threaded barrel. Now let's take a closer look at the trigger. All right, let me ghost the trigger for you. So here's the pre-travel. You hit a wall, you're gonna feel some creep, a nice break. Here's the reset. I wish the reset would push your finger out more, but it's still nice. You're right back up on the wall and there's your break. So as far as looks and ergonomics goes, I really like how this Type B Gen 2 looks. I really like the notch and the slide. And if you're not a fan of the notch, Archon also makes a Type D, which is the same exact design, but without the notch. The Type B feels like a quality made pistol. So the slide serrations and the notch are functional and they feel good when press checking or racking the slide. I feel like if the slide serrations were just a little bit deeper, they would be perfect. The grip with the Talon rubber texture feels good in hand. It probably could be a little bit more aggressive. The nice thing here is that you could swap out this texture with the other textures that Talon offers, which gives you more customization. The one issue I did encounter with this pistol is the magazine release button. For me, when I try to push the magazine release button in, the other side comes out and it pushes against my finger. So I have to break my grip in order to push the button in all the way to drop the magazine. Now let's break down the pros and cons. The pros are extremely low bore access, AF speed lock system, great factory trigger, good ergonomics, reliable performance, modular grip, removable chassis for easy customization. These features work together to reduce recoil and muzzle rise, making it easier to shoot faster and more accurately. When it comes to cons, the magazine release button could be improved for easier operation. The optic cut could be lower or the iron sights could be taller to better co-witness with a red dot. The fiber optic front sight is less effective in low light conditions, so I would prefer a trinium sight. A magazine spacer for the 18 round mags would be helpful to eliminate the gap when using the compact grip size. So in conclusion, the Archon Type B Gen 2 is a well-made, high-performing pistol with innovative features like the AFSB lock and the low bore access. While it does have a few drawbacks like the magazine release button and the fiber optic sight, 
Its overall performance and reliability make it a solid choice for new and experienced shooters. And I have to say, it's quickly becoming my favorite pistol because it's so easy to handle and accurate. So what do you guys think of the Archon Type B Gen 2? Do you think that the low bore access really makes a big difference with reducing muzzle flip and felt recoil? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're in the market for CCW insurance, check out Right to Bear. Link is in the description below. Use coupon code UBR10 to get 10% off your entire order. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews and content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.